Good morning students. Today we are going to continue with the chapter agriculture and industry. In the previous video we have talked about the agricultural sector, cash crops and food crops. In this video we are going to talk about the industrial sector. So let's see what this chapter has. Industry. Industries produce things for our use. The things they make are called their products. An industrial product is usually made in a factory. And the resources used by the industries to make their products are called raw materials. For example, wood is the raw material for producing good quality paper. We can group industries by their size. The raw materials they use or the products they make. So, first and foremost, we can see that industries, what are industries? Uh, industries are basically places where things are produced for our use. Okay, so goods are produced for our use. And the things they make, the items they produce are known as products. So, if a factory makes chair, then the factory is producing a product which is a chair. An industrial product is usually made in a factory. So the place where the industrial product is being made is called a factory. And the resources used by the industry to make these products are called raw materials. So for example, I told you about the chair factory. Okay, So this chair factory needs wood to make the chairs and this wood is known as the raw material. For example, wood is the raw material for producing good quality paper. The books and copies you use are made of paper and what is paper made from? Paper is made from wood. So wood is the raw material, the product is the paper and the factory where paper is made is known as the paper producing factory. Okay. And we can group industries based on their size, the raw materials they use and the products they make. So these are the three categories through which we can divide the different types of industries. Now let's see the different types of industries. First we have Large scale industries. Large scale industries use big machines and usually have many workers. We need a lot of money to run them. The iron and steel industry, the oil and gas industry and the cement industry are examples of large scale industry. So what are large scale industries? Large scale industries are basically the industries which have big machines Many workers, they need lot of money and big places to run. Okay. So these are known as large scale industries. What are the example? Iron and steel industry, oil and gas industry, cement industry. Okay. These are some of the examples of large scale industry. Next we have small scale industries. Small scale industries like those that make clothes, furniture or leather goods need less money to be run. They use smaller machines and have fewer workers than large scale industries. So you see the difference. In large scale industries, there was the need for big machines. Here we have smaller machines. Okay. And they had many workers. Here in small scale industries, they have fewer workers compared to large scale industries. That means if a large scale industry needs 100 people to work for them, a small scale industry can work with 40, 50 or 60 people. Okay, and some of the examples are the industries which make clothes, furniture, leather goods. Okay, and also they require less money. These large scale industries require a lot of money. Small scale industries require less money. Let, next we have cottage industry. Cottage industries use simple machines or no machines at all. They need very few workers and can be run from homes with very little money. Handicrafts such as basket weaving and pot making are cottage industries. Now see the difference between the three of them. Large scale industries required big machines. Small scale required 
comparatively smaller machines and cottaging industries require simple or no machines they need very few workers okay even one or two workers can also make up a cottage industry they are run from homes that means they do not need big spaces and very little money okay few examples are handicraft industry and pot making industry now see uh, can we make iron and steel goods at home we can't right suppose you want to make a big tub okay a big very big tub from iron and steel can you make it at home you can't right if you want to make a dress you still can try to make a dress right if you buy the cloth from the factory then you can still try to make a cloth uh, make a dress at home but still the kind of dress you are going to make you have to use a machine and in case of cottage industry like handicraft suppose you want to make a bamboo basket okay so you don't need any machines it they are hand sewn okay you want to make a piece of uh, decorative item you can make it on your own by your with your own hands you don't need a machine so these kind of industries are known as cottage industries now see these three industries 1 2 and 3 these three industries are under the division of size okay these uh, if you are asked what are the types of industries based on the sizes you will say large scale small scale and cottage industries right next coming on to the types of industries based on the use of raw materials first we have agro based industries agro based industries get raw materials from farms the industries making cotton silk jute or woolen clothes sugar and food products are agro based industries so what are basically agro based industries agro based industries are those industries which get their raw materials from agricultural sector that means from farms okay see uh, like cotton industry okay where the place where cotton is being produced cotton you have to bring from the farm right from the cotton plants you have to pluck the cotton then you have to process it in the industry and after that you can transform it into thread and make clothes from it okay but all these products final product until you come to the final product the first main raw material is coming from the farm similarly silk jute woolen cloth sugar all need agro based products so these products these industries are known as agro based industries next you have mineral based industries mineral based industries use minerals such as raw materials the iron and steel industry the copper industry and the aluminium industry are mineral based industries so you see according to use of raw materials industries can be divided into two types one is agro based industry and the other one is mineral based industries okay so what are the mineral based industries basically mineral based industries are those which use minerals as their raw material in the previous video we had talked about minerals right gold silver iron uh, these are all various kinds of minerals right so you see example iron and steel industry copper industry okay these aluminium industry iron copper aluminium these are all minerals right so these are used to make items make products so these industries are known as mineral based industries okay uh so i will end this video here and in the next video i will be continuing with the next part so uh, i am ending the video here that's all for today thank you and bye bye